number five movie that oh, okay. none of us knew what it was. No, I'm not talking about the creator. Okay. I'm talking okay. about The Blind, which none of us, you know, myself, yourself, wanna be O senior intern Christopher on the last episode, wanna be O junior intern Jack in his research. None of us saw the blind coming. We were blind to the blind. This is a fathom event. And this is the log line for the blind. Long before Phil Robertson was a reality TV star, he fell in love, started a family, and began to spiral out of control. The blind shares never before revealed moments in Phil's life as he seeks out the, uh, to conquer the shame of his past, ultimately finding redemption in an unlikely place. So this is a, like you said, a church bus film in which it, Jesus does not appear. Though who knows? I mean, I, I could very you well know see, that. Yeah, I could very well see Jesus coming to reality star Phil Robertson in a vision. You know, uh, Jesus may be telling future reality star Phil Robertson, you have to get your ass together. You've got to find a nice Christian woman to fall in love with. Like that, that could, Jesus might cameo in this in mirrors, you know, and in like the reflections on dinner plates, or I guess the reflections in beer mugs, my guess would be like Jesus might be reflected in an empty beer mug or a crack vial of future reality star Phil Robertson. But this is a, you start off as a sinner and you end up as a winner type of church bus movie. And you know, this isn't blowing the doors off of the church buses or the front of the churches, but $4 million. It's a Fathom event, too. I mean, yeah. that's the thing. It's like this is one of those great little additions to a theater's revenue Yep, that pops in, gets its mills, and then pops out, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, and you, you know, it doesn't seem like this is already a franchise, but it's about a future reality star, Phil Robertson. And... Now the people who made The Blind, you can make that reality show. You know, you could yeah. make your Phil Robertson reality show and put it on a, you know, like PAX Network or, or something like that and, or and, could, and keep the franchise going. You could make a sequel for this, too, because there's always mm -hmm. things that you forget, like horrible things you did that you forgot. So yes. you run it back. Yes. Here's here's. Here's the horrible things you did that I didn't show the first time. Yes, 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 yes. It's sort you know, of like Jesus can be like, oh, you know what? I just kind of showed you the uh, some of the highlights, but there's more. There's more there's that you more. did. Yeah, yeah. Because we we stuck to you know the drinking and the boozing. Now the sequel, we're going to show you the gambling, the philandering, um, the self mutilation mm -hmm. that we didn't show you in the first, the blind, and uh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 good for this movie, got people in the, in the movie theaters eating some popcorn. I'm sure there were a lot of movie theater owners who, who didn't even realize that they were showing this film. Oh and, yeah. And were pleasantly yeah. surprised. So good for the blind. Fathom they event. thought it was probably just an opera or something. If it's a fathom, they're like, whatever, just put it right. in there. It's the, it's an opera probably. Right. Right. I, I wonder how often theater owners get the thumb drive from fathom stick it in the side of their USB slot for the projector and don't even really know what they're about to show. You a know, lot of times. It, I'd say, it, I'd say 98%. Right. Right. Where they're like the bus that's showing up, is it coming from a church? Is it coming from, you know, the upper West side to see an opera? Is it coming? Who, who knows where this bus is coming from? Mm -hmm. But this weekend it was to see the blind.